All right, guys, we're back with round one Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Jesse Flores on the left playing Body Turbo versus Victor on the right playing like Machina Frog Hero. So three engines rolled into one. So Victor is a reg kind of a regular on the channel. He's always playing interesting decks. We've seen him play Machina Hero before and like all sorts of crazy decks. And Jesse is actually his first time on the channel. I, I don't know how much Edison Jesse plays, but. He plays a lot of advanced Yu-Gi-Oh. I've known Jesse for years. He uh, He's a great player. He got second place at the 250th YCS in LA, like last year. I think one of the largest YCSs ever. And yeah, he's, I, always, I always tell people the way to grow, the best way to grow the Edison community, in my opinion, is to get the advanced players to build Edison decks. That's, that's, how, that's how why my scene is growing. And yeah, glad to have Jesse. Uh, but again, I don't know how familiar he is with the format. We'll find out. Anyways, uh, Victor summons Stratos, searches Malicious Edge, and Jesse... Let's see what Jesse did. Jesse Rotor Farm again and I sent value and activated Upstart. So Jesse kind of... His deck is very, very similar to mine. I actually, I actually told him to test a few cards out. Anyways, it looks like uh, Victor... Special Summon Swap Frog. He searched Ocean... No, he searched Malicious Edge. And especially summon Swap Frog by discarding Ocean and then sending Treeborn from his deck to his graveyard. And again, uh, this is this was a 30-man local, largest uh, local we ever had at Epic Cards and Games. I don't include that 61-man tournament that was on the channel last week because that wasn't a local. It was more of a big tournament. But as far as locals goes, this is the largest one I've had so far. So we'll see who can win. I think Victor has track of life points. Okay, here comes Arma. The previous largest tournament we had was 28 players, and uh, who won that one? I believe David Pavonzo won that one with Machina Turbo. So we'll see. He's also here that day. He's trying to keep that title, largest tournament win. Anyways, he MSTs. Victor changed Regeki Break. Discard Swap Frog. Target the Arm Wing. Yeah, see, Jesse's having to read the cards. Yeah, this is how you know. I don't think he, like, plays much much edison at all but he kind of played in that era a little bit but again it was like what 12 years ago no 14 years ago sorry anyways jesse drops dark arm so he special summons greffer by discarding caius and then special summons dark arm so this is a lot of damage right here is 28 35 45 49 5900 damage So 14, okay, so I think Victor's going to keep track of life points. 9,076. So he just scoops. He thinks his hand must have been bad. Or did he have, maybe you told him he had return or burial. It's possible. So Jesse takes a quick game one. Game two, Victor goes first. Summon Substitute. He's got the the new Secret Rare Substitute. So sub into swap, send Treeborn. They just got a shiny deck, man. Frog Heroes Hollowed Out looks really nice. With Ultimate Miracles, Ultimate Swaps, Ultimate Treeborns, Ulti Caiuses. Expensive. I'm too scared to play with that high rarity stuff. Oh, no. He special summoned Cyber Dragon. <laughs> While well, Victor had no monsters. Great. <sighs> On camera. <laughs> Again. I, see, but I'm surprised that Victor didn't catch it. Like, I get Jesse. Like I said, this is his first Edison tournament. He's used to, you know, snake eye comboing his opponent. He's not. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Jesse Solemn's the heavy. Um, I never. See, I hate doing this play. I feel like the only time I set Solemn, but like, like this is if I have like three or four back rows. But if I only have two, a lot of times I'll just set the Solemn by itself. And if he heavies me, I won't even I won't even bother Solomon. I'll just let it go through. Anyways, Jesse flips summons hamster. So I have him 4,059. Victor's got track of life points as well, so we'll see if uh if a mine is accurate. But he he has it. I don't know why people don't use Neuron. I don't I don't get it. It's like so much better. Anyway, he attacks the dupe. Dupe will search. What is Victor going to search? Another swap. 
Hamster attacks over Treeborn, and... So Jesse has not normal summon, so he's looking at his extra deck. Now, now that Heavy's gone, he can set... Maybe he set Plague because he was looking at his extra deck. Or he has Gale in his hand, but it might he might have set Plague. Okay, Victor brings back Treeborn. Normal sub, so maybe here comes full sub combo. No. Nothing to stop this substitute combo from Jesse. Gets the second Treeborn. Okay, so one dupe is gone, so at least you're not getting full out dupe locked. So if you can out the one dupe, it's not as bad. Like with Brain or Kaising it or Raikoing the one dupe. Okay, here comes Upstart from Jesse. So I'm 69 to 4K. So the only thing, let's hope that that's not Torrential back there. Because if he has Torrential, that's going to wipe Jesse's whole field. So target the back row, and Victor chains Torrential. He Jesse's going to mill three. He loses his Plague, Cyber Dragon, most heavy bottomless, and Bayou. So yeah, this I could just tell Jesse's just, like I said, not used to the format because like Cyber Dragon against... Frog heroes? No, definitely not. <laughs> and I don't know about heavy. Frog heroes are playing more trap cards these days, so normally I would be like, uh, side out heavy, but I can see the argument for it. Especially game two and three. I, I guess you could keep it in. It's not the worst card. But yeah, not Cyber Dragon. Unless you really want to out the dupe lock. But you can't even out the dupe lock. Or the soft lock. Anyways, here he deprisons the swap. And passes. But again, this is also another thing. This is not Jesse's deck. He just borrowed this deck from somebody. That's a, that's a lot. That's another thing that happens with a lot of the people who play at my locals. They usually don't have decks, so they just borrow people. Because that's what I do. I loan out my decks sometimes to the people who only have advanced decks, just to get more people <laughs> to sign up for the tournament. Yeah, because. I don't know about, I would not side Cyber Dragon, but Victor is playing the Machinas in his deck as well, and the Heroes, but we have not seen a single Machina card so far. Anyway, Mills, Upstart, Trap, Dust Shoot, and Burial. Two good cards right here that he needed. That's unfortunate. Well, Burial's not live yet, but anyway, pokes him for 200. But Trap, Dust Shoot right now, Victor's... Victor's got like a full hand. Okay, he's, he's got a dead one for one. Sacks for Caius. Targets the back row, which is a D prison, and now hits Jesse for 22. So now Jesse's dangerously low. Yep, 67. Okay, so I have correct life points because I see it on Victor's phone. But I'd rather keep it up so you guys can see it the whole time because Victor's phone gets locked. Okay, so here comes Armageddon Knight. Since Sirocco, so now his value is live, but at the moment, there's not a way for him to deal with, um, yeah, to deal with a Caius. Let's see, how does he deal with it? Maybe he's got Gale in his hand? Hmm. Cal Sorcerer? I don't know about Cal Sorcerer. I actually think Chaos Sorcerer becomes so much better game two and three if you're siding uh, Cyber Dragon. But like game one is just not that great. Okay, so he does have the Gale. Halves the Caius, attacks Caius for what? 23, so 11. And let's see, is, is he afraid of Gores? So he chooses not to attack into Gores. Synchro summons Armor Master. I mean, one Caius is gone. The only thing is, if, if Victor. Does Victor have a hero? In his grave? I don't think he does. So my guess is Victor's got a bunch of Miracle Fusions in his hand. Me having played this deck so much, I just know the hands. Like, he probably has a lot of... I, my guess is he's got two Miracles in his hand that are dead right now. Because I've been in this situation where I'm just like, please give me a hero deck. Come on. <laughs> which, is, which is crazy how many uh, number of heroes people play. That's always something I always look at. Like, a lot of times I, when I played Frog Heroes, I would run two E-Calls because 
I wanted to make sure that I start with Stratos. Anyways, Armor Master hits a Swap Frog. So yeah, this you can tell. Victor's hand is bad. But if he top decks a hero, I, I guarantee his hand is just completely live. Why does Victor get this map from? It's a nice map. <laughs> Must be from a different game. Okay, so he topped the Stratos. That's, I'm almost positive he was waiting for a hero. And now that's probably going to turn on all his miracles. <sighs> Searches Malicious Edge. There's the miracle. So this is why I don't like Crow. I think Jesse has Crow in his hand. And you can see here why Crow's not good against frog heroes. He has, a lot of times they'll play around it by summoning the... The hero on the field. And if they have a bunch of water, it's just dead. Now, in this situation, Victor didn't... The only hero he had was Stratos, but it was based upon the field. Anyway, Jesse takes 700. If Victor has another miracle, that was game. But I don't think he does. Because if either... A, he has another miracle, or he missed the, the, the game shot right there. What do you do if you're Jesse? Oh, he's still got Plague in his grave. Okay. Is there a way for Jesse to make a level 8? But he met his, his burial is gone. Sometimes these games against Vi just come down to what they mill. Like, sometimes they'll mill Burial or mill Return or Dark Armed. Victor with a one piece sleeve, one piece sleeves, and a token. All right, what's Jesse thinking about? <laughs> I like seeing what like what people choose. So like that that uh that box is actually a deck box, <laughs> and. I remember people always play this mat that Jesse's playing on, this top eight magic mat. I know these are expensive. I saw a lot of the players back when I used to play. This was like the Spellground mat. I'm surprised Jesse's had it for all these years. Because my friend, my other one of my close friends, Randy, has one, but he stained it. <laughs> it has like a huge stain on it. All right, Jesse, come on, man. This is ridiculous. This Donnell level slow. <laughs> but at least, like I said, this is Jesse's first tournament. I had to get him on camera. Like I said, Jesse's uh, got quite a few number of YCS tops as well, so I wanted to get him. Maybe encourage him to play more Edison. And it's funny because the advanced players are always trying to get me to play advanced, and while well, I'm always trying to get them to play Edison, it's just it's funny. Anyways, the Armor Master crashes into Ab Zero, wipes the field, and now his value is live, so he can go into Silverwind. Because he, he's at 11, so he, you just got to hope he doesn't have a Monarch or anything. Okay. Treeborn. That was a long play Jesse made. But again, I think it's just inexperience. Summon Alias. Miracle. Banish. Okay, so he'll take 200, so this is not game. The third miracle. Yeah, he definitely... So he 100% had two of them. Yeah, he 100% had two of them. So he had, he definitely had game last turn. Maybe he just saw the play, and he didn't see it the turn before. This time he saw it, so he went for it. All right. So Victor forces a third game. Who's going to move on with a round one win? Victor trying to get his first win on the channel. I think he's gone second. I know he got second once, but maybe there's maybe twice. I know he made the finals once, like a few months ago, with some weird deck. That that might have been one of the most impressive finals runs. It was like some hero deck with uh, what's the card called? Skyscraper number two. <laughs> Okay, so he right goes the Regeki break. So there we finally see the Machina engine. 
So he set return, Mills Greffer, D.D. Crow and D. Prison. So he set return this early. I usually, the only time I do this set return, like first turn, is if, I, is if like next turn I'm going to have a dark arm on the field. <laughs> but it's so greedy. But then there's times I regret not setting it. There, those times like, man, I can maybe drop dark arm next turn and then... And then if the dark arm, then flip return. All right. Anyways, it's weird. We didn't see the Machina engine at all. Game one and two. And now it comes up game three. Maybe he sides into the Machina engine. No, but we saw. There's no way. I think he just didn't draw it. Anyway, gear frame hits over Ryko for 16. So we're at 64 to 8,000. And... Victor sets one. How many darks? Two darks, one light. I wonder if Jesse's on Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, he drew all three Rikos. That sucks. Pops the gear frame, Mills, Greffer, Rug, and Mirror Force. So three darks. Come on, Dark Arm. But Victor's probably got, like, the trap cards the frog deck sets are what? Regeki Breaks, Torrential. Like, the only good trap you want to hit is Mirror Force. That's it. Everything else is chainable. Yep. So here, he's just going to chain whatever he pops. Yeah. And chain deck dev. Ooh. Nice. So Victor discards the Miracle. So Victor chains Crow. I mean, a... There's nothing in there that you really want to get rid of. Just the Greffer. So his hand is Ryza Force. So I get him. So I'm surprised. Should he have pitched the Ryza or the Miracle? They're both kind of dead. But at least with Miracle, you can top into a hero. Yeah, so he was better off pitching the Ryza. But you can you can argue he can draw frogs. But he didn't know he was going to get deck dev but man, he's probably kicking himself for not discarding that Ryza because Miracle would have been live. You can at least make a Gaia. Okay. So Jesse flips, summons Ryko, Mills, double upstart. No, Jesse, you don't have to pop. <laughs> Maybe he just wants the body off the field. I remember Jesse top. 60 made top 64 at na at NAWCQ in 2014. I said I've known Jesse forever with uh with Life Sworn. He was playing what was the deck called? Uh, he called it Jesse Sworn, but like it was the Life Sworn Ruler deck for those of you guys who played in it was hat format. Yes, hat format. He topped 64 because I remember I went to Nats with him that year. He was playing um Life Sworn Ruler. So he knows Life Sworn at least. I think that was his first top, too. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So, Armageddon Knight. What do you send here? Man. So, he's debating on what to send. So, he sends Plague. Yeah, there's there's nothing else in his grave. No Vi, you know, Sirocco. So, he sends Plague. I wonder if he's on Necro. I think he might not be on Necro. I haven't seen it. So he pokes them for 16, so they they should both be at 64. Oh, no, someone took 200. I think Jesse poked him for 200, unless I missed something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Jesse poked him for two. So 64, 62. Did he show him what he drew? I think he drew another Ryza, right? Yes. I think his hand is double Ryza. And now Force, bring back Fortress. Yeah, so they're arguing about... Deck dev. So, okay, he's got two Ryzas in his hand. Now, do you attack or do you drop a Ryza here? Victor's reading... For no, Jesse's reading Fortress. Now, if you're afraid... Like, v Victor's looking at his card. So, maybe Victor's game plan is just to... I'd rather you deal with my Fortress than me just trade. Because... 
his back row could be pulling the rug. You saw him mill one. So let's say Victor tributes the Fortress for Ryza, and it is pulling the rug. He gets blown out. So I think this is a scenario where I think maybe just leaving the Fortress up is correct. Now Jesse switches both the defense mode. Oh, what a good draw. Let's see if Jesse has oppression or anything. Oh, solemn. That was a good solemn. Because you know you know his hand. You know his hand is double rise up. Now, will Victor attack into this? You already normal summon. You didn't attack last turn. And he solemn. The solemn was a new card, not the old one. So, Victor should probably not attack. Because you didn't attack last turn. Okay, good. That was good. That was good. I like this move. So here comes Trooper, Mills, uh, Torrential, Crow, and Hamster. Yo, Jesse, so I'm guessing Jesse sided in two deck devs, two DD Crows, and two pulling on the rugs in this matchup. Which I don't like Crow. Maybe that should have been Oppression. I don't know if Oppression's in his main in, in his deck anywhere. Anyway, so he catastrophes over the fortress. You know his hand. You know his two dead rises. So I think Jesse should have probably got aggressive and hit him with the with the Armageddon Knight there. Oh man, but he he top decked Treeborn. So now he can rise a you. Let's see. So for 32 46, here comes Treeborn, and now you're probably gonna get Ryza. Targets a Catastor. Let's see if he attacks. I mean, you have to read that as a deep prison or a mirror force. Now, if you're Victor, do you attack? Okay, so there's a deep prison. Oh, a miracle! So that's what he drew for his turn. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're willing to take more risk after you top deck the miracle. You're like, ah, if I get deep prison, now I have an ab zero you have to deal with. Well played by Victor. Victor getting ready for Nats. He's, I'm pretty sure he's going to play at the Ultimate Time Wizard. Jesse's going to be playing Advanced Yu Gi Oh! So. Yeah, we won't. We don't. He'll be there at Austin, but he'll be in the in the in the main event. Anyways, here comes Rhoda for Armageddon. Yeah, Rhoda for Armageddon. What else is in his hand? So he sets, brings back Frog, rises him again. Attack both monsters and pass. So this is not looking good for Jesse. He's got two cards. One of them's Armageddon Knight. So he sets and passes. He's at 32. Oh, he drew Gear Frame. And he's got Mirror Force. Does he have Fortress? So yeah, he can... What are you afraid... Unless you're afraid of Dinah. But he didn't use the effect. Oh, he scoops. All right, so Victor moves on with a round one win. He pulls off the backdoor 2-0 slash legacy 2-0. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. And shout out to Jesse. First, first Edison tournament. Made a few errors, but overall, he played okay. All right, I'll see you guys next time.